John Fenton and his wife Kathy have 24 gas wells on their property, all of them visible from their front porch. I was raised here, and at one time, there was nothing. I mean, there was no oil, nothing. Now you all have this, everywhere you can see. Everywhere you can see. Yeah, and like, we can really sell this place with the water situation and, well, look at it. We don't own our mineral rights. Now see this, this black cow right here at that little calf? That little calf's, you know, probably less than 12 hours old right there. Oh, really? Yeah, that's a, that's a new one there. We've only got a, a certain, you know, amount of water wells to work with, and, and God, I don't know how they even drink it, to be honest with you. It's the damnedest smelling stuff. and comes out different colors all the time, but you got to use it sometimes. I think we should strive to be the cleanest and the most environmentally conscious that we can. A lot of times it's right out in the middle of the field. You know, that's where we make our money. Our, you see the green grass growing, that's money to us, you know, and that's fertilizer and that's feed for the cows, that's everything. And, and they tear up a football field sized area and, and drill a hole out there and they spread toxic chemicals. And, and then on top of that, you got gravel and rocks and big pieces of metal. And then they pipeline everywhere and it just cuts us to pieces. There's no rhyme or reason to how they do things out here. They do it different on every hole. There's different people, nobody's watching over them. You know, it's a free for all. Okay. It's <laughs> John Fenton describes his home being surrounded by venting condensate tanks. At times, the fumes from the condensate tanks are so strong, they surround the house in a cloud of toxic vapor. And you can come out here when the sun's coming up and the air is just brown, the first 100, 200 feet of air. It's like a brown blanket laying over the top of, of everything and, you know, not only are all the animals in there breathing it and, and, and absorbing it through their skin, but all the people are too. Kathy and her mother-in-law, who lives right down the road, suffers from headaches, dizziness, and a loss of smell and taste. It's going to be, I, I know they say you have to let them drill. You, you know, you got to come to a compromise. You know, we already know that. We've already compromised as much as we can compromise. If they do any more drilling out here, it's just going to force people, you know, going to force us out of business off our land. The less people they have to deal with out here, the more they can drill. But they can drill whether we like it or not. Mm. It doesn't seem to matter that we're affected. Humans are being affected. If I'd known what it was going to be like, I don't know that I'd brought my family here. I hate to say that because, you know, <laughs> to some people might see this and wonder how I could like this, but this is my way of life. You know, my, my father and my grandfather were the old time cowboys, you know, and my grandfather on my mom's side, they're farmers in Nebraska. This is my family heritage and my wife's, this is their family farm, you know. We're proud of this, but by God, if your way of life is being besieged and your health is under attack, I don't know what else you can do. I don't know where the hell I'd go, though. Where, where else can I go? This is happening everywhere. I, that's the biggest thing I want people to know is you're not alone if this is happening to you because I'm in the same boat you are. And what we need to do is we need to get together and we need to stand up and we need to speak with a unified voice and we need to stand up to these assholes. These little guys are really enjoyable to watch and be around. And we want to raise the best, most natural, clean product that we can raise, you know? And by God, if you're breathing in dirty air and you're drinking water that could be tainted, what's going into these girls and what's coming out in those calves, you know? You got to be sure that what you're putting in them to raise that meat is as pure as it can be, you know? Cute as they are, and in a year or two, they're going to be on somebody's dinner plate.
Now, actually, this next well we're coming up on here was probably one of the worst ones for Kathy and I. It was a neat little secluded spot. You could go have a picnic, you know, if we wanted to come back and just talk and where nobody knew where we were at. It was right here, and it was all these cool-looking kind of rock formations out here, and it was just gone. Everybody kind of has one of those, and ours is under a dozer, you know. It just disappeared. It took them one day, and it was gone. You couldn't recognize it anymore. It's amazing that what took Mother Nature millions of years to build can be destroyed in a few hours with a piece of heavy machinery. 